They can all sit up here in the front. I, uh, it's been a couple years since I've been back to camp with the kids, and it was a different camp this year. Um, and to be perfectly honest with you, I, I, I wasn't real enthused about going this year. But, but once I got there, I didn't even know where we were going. Uh, I, I thought Pine Crest was up here in the mountains somewhere close. Little did I know, I was born like uh, 10 minutes away from the camp um, and, and grew up there in, in those mountains. It, it was in San Bernardino. Um, so it was kind of a blessing for me. But, but once I got to camp, um, you know, I didn't realize, for one, how old I'm getting. <laughs> These guys are, you know, running out around 500 youth is kind of tiring on you. And, uh, but, you know, the, the Lord gave me strength through it, and, and it was a blessing. And, uh, look, parents, you know, we, we, have, we have some really righteous kids. I mean, they're, they're good. Um, 500 kids, they, if they wanted to, they could have got lost. And just, I would have came back with more gray hairs than I got now, you know. But, but they were pretty much always where they were supposed to be. They were always on time. Um, I, I really didn't have to run after him, you know. I tried to be a hard nose, but that, that didn't work quick, too. Um, they, they were good. Um, Ruben's out here. He went with us. Um, and, and, you know, for, first of all, you guys are blessed because um, what happened here tonight, um, you guys are growing up in that. Yes. And a lot of the people you went to camp with are, they don't, they're not involved in letting God do what God wants to do. And I, I thank you guys for our shepherds, um, are obedient to the Spirit of God, to the voice of God, and, and you just don't know how, how great we have it here. And, and the direction that God is taking us. And, and the vision that God has put in them. Um, and the obedience that they have and the love they have for us, you know. You guys are being raised up in that. You guys are fortunate, you know. And I didn't see that a lot at camp from 480 other kids, you know. Um, so you guys are blessed in that. But, but um, like I said, Ruben's not here tonight. Um, what, what makes it all worthwhile, and, and for, for me as a counselor, you know, this is like the fifth time, fourth time. Time I've been with the kids at camp, and uh, you know, no matter what camp we go to, you always see the the kids who, if they want to get something out of it, they're going to get something out of it. Right. And, and you know, you guys, you guys bless my heart because you know the first couple days were kind of slow, but you guys started rushing for the side seats so you guys could be up front during Amen. praise and worship. Amen. You guys were right up front. Um, you know, you guys were wanting to get what God had. Um, and, and one of our campers tarried at the altar for hours um, and got what she needed. Amen. And everybody got what, what they wanted to get out of camp. Um, this camp is going to be remembered as the camp that Momo got her groove on. And I'm not so sure that's what she wanted to get, but... Um, she had she had a little accident trying to get hers, you know, and uh, so, so it, it, it was it was good. But uh, these these guys, I I'm just gonna give them the mic and, and let them share a little bit of maybe what happened, whatever they want to share. With you. I had a lot of fun at camp. I experienced what I had never experienced before. And I never thought that I would experience that until I was older. But I went to camp thinking it'd be okay. A little fun there, fun here. We had a blast. We were always front, in the front rows. We, we never wanted to stop. And like, it was really fun to have that experience, and I want to come next year. Amen. Um, like 
Jody said, I'll have fun over there. I experienced stuff that I never thought I would either. But it turned out to be fun. I thought it was going to be boring. Amen. Amen. Thanks for your honesty, Willie. <laughs> hey, um, you, camp was, they, they pretty much had an agenda lined out, and it was pretty much go, go, go. Um, the one thing I did like, though, at, at, after service at night, they gave us a half hour of cabin time um, with, with our kids, and, and we had a real cool little room with four beds in it and me. And uh, after service, we got to go spend a half an hour um, talking. Amen. And, and I, I, I want to let you know that um, we talked. Amen. The four of us boys, we talked. We talked about what happened in service. We talked about what, what God was doing. Um, and, and, you know, I asked them if they understand some of the things that are going on. And, and we communicated um, about spiritual things. And Amen. sometimes that's hard with um, youth. Um, but they were open to all that. Amen. So um, God did a work in them, you know, and like the, the camp slogan is, well, the, the, that, that's the slogan for the youth for the year is rooted, Amen. Uh, rooted in Christ. Amen. And I, I truly believe that, that our kids, um, you know, they, they got watered, they got fertilized, they, that, um, and, and like I said, what better place to be raised up in, in, in church um, to see what God does in, in our house? You know what I mean? We're, we're blessed. We're just blessed. So. Amen.